So there's calls that pay well and then there's the calls that don't pay very well but they're a lot easier and sometimes you just got to take a little break and it's a good thing. Truck tires are one of those things. Now usually what I'll do is I'll check to make sure that there's nothing dangerous about airing it up and then I'll look for the hole but it looks like for this one there's actually what seems to be a a bulge starting so if I would have if I were to air this up it could explode just because it's so close to the sidewall and it could make a little uh, bubble there that could be dangerous so I'm not gonna risk it see the difference where it's flat here and it's still it's a little bubbled up there so I'm gonna see if they have a tire because they are a big trailer company so they most likely have the tires here. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm guessing you guys have tires in the shop for these. Cause it needs, uh, it needs a tire, it's got a bulge in it. There's tires over there, but I'm not sure which ones. Okay, so I'll double check. Thanks. All right, so now I gotta go drive over. See what kind of tires they got. Now, it doesn't look like they got a very good selection of nice tires, or any. This is a different pattern than the one that's on it now. These are all trailer tires. These rims are holerable, that's nice. A spare drive, look at that. Look what I found. Looks like it's got some stuff in there. Well, I guess that's what we're putting on. But we're gonna put it on the unit before we air it up because there's no way I'm risking it. I don't like putting on used tires and there's a good reason for it. I like living. Tires that are outside like to get water in them, so I'm just gonna take that out. And for some reason they like to get, what the heck is that? That's good enough. All right, so now we're gonna change this tire real quick. Look at that, beans already broken. Nice. I mean, since you're still watching, you could always drop a like. Oh baby, it's an easy one. But little did the tire doctor know. Now, what do you mean by a horrible rim? I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on video, but basically this little lip right here, how it's like elevated, that's what makes it so hard to get off sometimes. It's like a, it's like overseas kind of design, so it doesn't really fit. I guess it doesn't fit the, uh, the size of the tire. I don't know. It's just a really bad design, and I really buy American if you really don't want it deal with this stuff. We're running out of juice. You know, just enough for today. I always like to seat the bead before I put on the unit even though I'm going to air it up on the unit because it just makes more sense because it's going to be a pain. This rim actually is the one good thing about this design is that it actually takes air a lot easier. So sometimes you don't even need a blast. So we'll see. Looks like it's been sitting outside for a while. Looks like we're gonna need to blast it. Air it up just enough so the bead seats so that I can just air it up right when it's on the unit because I don't want to air it up off the unit. Because if you don't have a tire cage, it's super important to do this. Otherwise, uh, well, you've probably seen the videos. Not a lot of people asking for this 
kind of format of video. I sucked at it before, but I think I'm getting a little better, so I'll make sure the ballast stems are across from each other. Definitely not as hot as it was last week. That's good. There you go. Now I just got to bolt it back on, air that one up, and then I just have to torque it up, and then we're good to go. Take my jack out, because sometimes I forget. And then we're uh, tired doctors on to the next call. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this kind of video.